Koreatown has been an ethnic enclave in LA since at least 1980. You come to LA, there's, you know, there's the Staples Center, there's the, there's LAX, you know, and then there's K-Town as well. K-Town is a little on the poor side, I think. It's really crowded. Really Asian, my home, I guess. Some parts of it are actually a little ghetto and like run down. I get the feel that I'm stepping into a separate city. It's where I've gone to school, where I've lived. And then there's Korean barbecue everywhere. I mean, it's different from every other part of LA. A lot of historical significance to it and a lot of historical background. Korean everywhere, uh, boba, which is nice. Direct influence from Korea usually comes to LA first, and that, that means Koreatown. It's sort of a blend, I guess. Um, of Korea and America. Um, I think a lot of people have um, a negative perception on K-Town, especially like with, um, I don't know, K-Town has a reputation to have like a lot of like, I guess like Korean gangsters and just a lot of people who, I guess, um, a lot of hooligans. <laughs> a lot of people actually dislike Korean, like Koreatown people. Um, like they don't want their kids to hang out with like K-Town people and stuff. Just because Koreatown has sort of like that reputation now of like, I mean, it's in like, not a, not like the best part of town. I don't know, K-Town is like really fun. There's a lot of good places to eat. So like I have kind of more of a positive outlook on K-Town. As the most densely populated area in LA and approximately half Latino and half Korean, Koreatown has a very unique culture. A lot of Koreans actually have those um, racial stereotypes. A lot of Koreans are not used to dealing with Latinos because there are literally almost no Latinos in Korea itself. Like, I've seen a lot of Latino people working at Korean restaurants and then they're adopting really well, actually. Like, they're actually learning Korean and some some people actually serve, serve us. So I think the K-Town community is adopting well with the Latinos, I think. It's actually really say rigged because I would say the haves enjoy as much as they can in K-Town but the have-nots really suffer. Um, people who have the money go there to shop or to just clubbing events or anything like the have-nots always just have to work every day really hard for just to continue living and stuff. Koreatown serves as a cultural center for all things Korean in the greater Los Angeles area and Southern California as a whole. The Korean Americans are more direct in a sense and Korean themselves are more pretentious. So yeah, Koreans are more secretive in a sense too, more than Korean Americans. Um, I think that Korean Americans are a bit more free compared to Koreans from straight from Korea and they're, um, we're raised differently. Unfortunately, I think Korean Americans have less respect for their elders and just for each other compared to Korean. Um, Koreans in K-Town kind of have their K-Town style. I don't know, there's a lot of pressure from my family to um, sort of identify myself as Korean. But, I mean, I've grown up here, I've lived here all my life, so it's kind of, I don't know, conflicting, I guess. A lot of Korean American culture is still deeply rooted within the Korean culture itself. There's like a lifestyle that, you know, people have as a Korean American. It's uh, something to be proud of. Like, you still embrace your culture as a Korean, but at the same time, you know, you're Americanized. Three models surrounded by green bottles. Green bottles with labels of dream models. Second round going down, please follow. After hours, karaoke and end with King Taco. Oops, I mean El Torino. Rosy cheeks looking redder than the sauce, pinche chinos. A couple hours ago, we were dancing up at VR. Booking girls to the table when I met a sweetheart. She told me that I wasn't like the mother assholes. She got hit on by 20 dudes at Belasco. King of K-Town, roll to my castle. Three dollar cash. No hassle. <laughs>